Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Alphonse IT. Uh, for today's video, we will be, um, we'll be discussing about uh, basic hard disk and dynamic hard disk as well as converting our dynamic hard disk into basic hard disk by using our laptop. So, I don't think that I will have to explain uh, about basic hard disk and dynamic hard disk in this video because if you are watching this video, then you probably have already uh, researched about everything, uh, researched about everything about dynamic hard disk and basic hard disk. And you should know that there are many disadvantages of dynamic hard disk so that it cannot be used as uh, our basic hard disk. Uh, sorry, it cannot be used as our external hard disk. So first of all, let me see you. Let me show you uh, dynamic hard disk. For this, for that process, I will be using our uh, external hard disk. And as I have already told you in about that, uh, now that I have a given hard disk drive uh, in my position. So I'll be connecting to that hard disk to connecting that hard disk in my laptop and I'll show you that uh, what does it look like to connect a dynamic hard disk in your system and then I'll um, show you a way to convert that hard disk into basic without losing data. So let me take me take into my file manager and then you can see that there are only three drives and there is not uh, our 500 GB hard disk drive that I have just connected. And that is because it is a dynamic hard disk. So let me show you properly that it is connected or not. And as you can see, there is the our dynamic to disk, disk to dynamic. So because uh, it is a dynamic disk, it doesn't allow us to see its content. And one of the most, uh, one of the easiest way to convert it into basic disk is just click here. But you can see that data on this disk will be lost if you convert this disk to basic. So if you directly convert this disk into basic, then your data will be lost. So we'll be going to convert this disk into basic without losing our data. Uh, so that first of all, you have to download a apps, non as. UMA partition assistant. You will have to download a partition assistant uh, tool and please download the specific version because uh, for other version it is uh, not possible to actually use its crack version. So we will be downloading its 9.1 version which is very easy to crack. Let us go to our file that is why that we want to download that is 9.1 and don't download any other versions because uh, the latest version will not be will be very hard to crack and we are using it's a free by using cracks, so we don't. Uh, I don't want to have much problems in this video. So let me skip the part in which uh, our video, our uh, partition assistant is is being installed, and then I will show you how to convert it into basic disk. And uh, my internet is very slow, so I'm very sorry, but I have to pause this video and I will resume the video when my download is completed. Okay, now that I have finished uh, downloading the tool, so I have copied that to our desktop so it will be easier for me. And let me start the program. I will start this later. So this should be like a installation process. I don't think it will take too much time. You just have to skip everything and just go with uh, install because uh, we will be removing that after some time. So after installing, then just uh, unplug your Ethernet cable if your laptop is connected by using Ethernet cable or turn off your Wi-Fi connection if your Wi-Fi is on then 
open the while it's loading it is so that this there is a dish too which is dynamic and you can show that this will be an option Now click on this dynamic disk converter and after that click on this inter license code and I have already copied the code so I will be just uh, entering that code and after showing code it will be showing that its registration is successful it's been long time since I have saved so it is taking me time so to find the option that is needed so I think the best option will be that uh, all tools process or a quick partition i don't think we can make partition of this disk uh, because it is in dynamic disk so let's go to our all tools options and after going to all tools option you can see that there is dynamic disk convert so while clicking on this uh, it will ask for a reboot so you have to keep the reboot one time and it will ask multiple times but you just have to keep it one time so let me reboot my computer Hello everyone, but uh, this is my second, uh, second time restarting. Uh, when I restarted uh, previous time, I actually converted my disk into basic disk and I just forgot to save that uh, video. And that video forward has been corrupted now because uh, it was restarted while the recording was in progress. So let me show you the process again. And then if you don't understand about anything, uh don't hesitate to uh, don't hesitate to ask about it in comment section then i will be sure to answer your questions or just make a new video in which i will be just converting the uh, new hard drive into dynamics and then just convert it into basic if it's necessary so let me explain the process so while doing next time you have to click a no button and the dynamic disk converter will be opened and there will be two methods yeah, the best method for you will be method one and after choosing the method one then you can see that there was an there is error now because there are not any dynamic disk data connected to my laptop but uh, when there are dynamic disk connected to our laptop then it will show a dynamic disk uh, and then you have to click uh, on that dynamic disk and this and then click on next after doing next you have to verify it then you have to verify and after that uh, it will be just done in three to five seconds and after that you have to restart your computer it's uh, necessary to restart your computer after converting your drives but it is not necessary for external drives but uh, it will be nice if you just uh, restart your laptop or any pc drives etc so in which uh, now you can see that uh, I have opened my hard disk and all of the data in my hard disk are not formatted. The, the data is there without any uh, any type of corrupted data or anything. Now this was all for this video and if you don't uh, if you don't understand anything, please ask me in the comment. Then I'll try to answer your questions. Then the most important thing that you have to do while converting your dynamic disk in your basic disk by using partition assistant tool is don't connect to your internet while doing this. And uh, for the free key that I have used, I'll write that right down that key in my comment below. And as well as you can find that in Google, you can search for it. And now it is basic disk and it can be used as my external disk. Uh, thank you for watching till now. And don't forget to like the video and see you in next video. Bye bye.